Hello everyone and welcome to the next lesson and today we're talking about Forex correlations. Forex correlations is a way for traders to identify whether one currency pair will move similar to another currency pair. A positive correlation is represented by two currency pairs going up at the same time or down at the same time. However, if one currency pair moves opposite to the other, i.e. one goes up and the other goes down, this is known as a negative correlation. So what do correlated Forex pairs mean? Currency pairs are correlated when they move dependent of each other. This can happen when the currencies in each pair are the same or include the same economies. For example, EURUSD and GBPUSD both contain USD as a common factor. On top of this, the Eurozone and Great Britain are closely tied economies trading together. These factors are a core reason of a correlated Forex pair. So as you can see on the screen, EURUSD and GBPUSD move in the same direction, which means it's a positive correlation. So. When EURUSD is going up, so would GBPUSD. And when EURUSD is moving down, so would GBPUSD. This means you'll tend to see most USD currency pairs move in the same direction if the USD is on the quote side of the exchange rate. So AUDUSD and NZDUSD will also be a correlated Forex pair. So as you can see on the screen, you can see NZDUSD and AUDUSD. They're positive correlations. So when NZDUSD is moving up, so is AUDUSD. And when NZDUSD is moving down, so is AUDUSD. You'll tend to see, however, that some correlated Forex pairs will have a weaker or stronger relationship. This is because all these currencies are separate economies. They all sell different things and affect the exchange rates in different ways. What do non-correlated Forex pairs mean? Currency pairs that are non-correlated move independent of each other. This generally happens when the currencies in two separate pairs are completely different. So here you can see on the screen EURUSD and GBPNZD. These two currency pairs are non-correlated as they don't include any common currency between them and it's four separate economies, Eurozone, US, UK and New Zealand. This means there's a good chance that if one grows, there's no correlation for the other to grow too. So the thing you need to look out for is when you're trading that you don't want to be buying one pair and selling another pair that are correlated. So let's say you buy on NZDUSD, but you sell on AUDUSD. These two have a positive correlation so you want to be buying both pairs or selling both pairs. This is something that you need to look out for when you're trading. I have attached the website to this video. If you go on that, it will show you every single pair and what pair that is correlated to. So this is what the website looks like, guys. Here is where you can see which pairs are correlated and non-correlated. If you click the three dots here, you can pick all the pairs that you want to check that are correlated or non-correlated. So if something has a minus percent, that is how much that is non-correlated. And if something has a plus percent, that's how much it is correlated. So we can see from here that NZDUSD and AUDUSD have a 91% correlation. So that means that when NZDUSD is moving up, so is AUDUSD. And when NZDUSD is moving down, so is AUDUSD. We can also see that NZDUSD and USDCHF are non-correlated because they have a minus 90%. So this is a very good tool to use guys when you're looking at trading. You can see which pairs are correlated and which pairs aren't correlated. I hope this video has helped you understand correlations. Make sure you're not trading positive correlated pairs differently. If a pair is positively correlated with another, you will be trading the same direction on both. Really hope you enjoyed that lesson guys and I'll see you in the next one.